apologize if I interrupted someone by taking the mute button off, but I guess go to webinar is down or go to meeting is down. So I rebooted it, it's still down, so I, I don't have any sound. So I'm gonna speak for 45 minutes today. You guys and girls can hear me, which is positive, which is good. I apologize for being a few minutes late. I thought rebooting would fix it. I didn't know that they were having issues. So at least you can hear me. At least you can hear me. So thanks so much for having me today. It's good to be here. Again, today is a great day to talk about trading. Today is a great day to talk about markets. Why? The market had a huge gap down today, and then we reversed just huge in the last hour. So it's a lot going on right now, a lot of volatility, and again, lots of opportunities to trade and make money. So what are we gonna talk about today? Again, I'm gonna speak here and stay with you for the next 45 minutes and talk about trading and talk about what I do and how I trade. So I'm very happy that you can hear me. And if you have questions, you can plop them in the room. I can see your questions. I just can't, I just can't hear anything on the other end, but I can see the questions if people write them in the questions section. So today we're gonna to talk about how to trade on the side of institutional money. And that's very important, why? Because if you're a trader, you want to trade on the side of institutional money. And I'm gonna explain why today. And again, if you have questions, you can email me at melissathestockswoosh.com. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh, which I started actually 10 years ago. So I've been trading now for uh, 14 years, which is a very long time, and I trade only gaps. It's a method that I personally created, and again, we're gonna talk about it today. If you have questions, you can call me at 929-3200-GAP, and you can also email me, like I said, at melissa at the stockswish.com. I also talk on TV on many, many different channels, mostly about what's happening, not just in markets, but the economy as well. One of the reasons the market's down today, again, there were many reasons the market was down today, but we had a bad economic data this morning. Now, while I don't make trading decisions based on fundamentals sometimes they do go with the technicals so i'm looking for technical analysis i'm looking at charts i'm a chart reader but you know we're in an environment right now in 2022 where many many times many days that you're trading the fundamentals and the technicals actually do match up so let's talk about trading let's talk about trading for a living as some of you are here you're trading full-time i'm sure and some of you are trading part-time for me I trade Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but the hours that I trade actually are considered part-time because I really focus in the morning, okay? So you can earn a living in the stock market. It is possible. And again, you can do this full-time or, or part-time, even if you have another job. But the fact is you can make money in the market. I think a lot of people, when they start to train, they lose money and then they think it's not possible, but that's just not true. I have people that are with me now for actually as long as I've had the business in my live trading room. And <laughs> it's one of these things where if you get good at this and you really learn what to do and you actually get good at trading, okay, you can make a lot of money. There are billions of dollars in the market. To think that you can't or that it's impossible is just not true. The fact is that nobody wakes up out of bed, starts trading right away and makes money. That's just not realistic, okay? And one of the reasons that traders struggle is they just don't know what to do in any given day. Today is a great example of that. Why? We were down a lot today, and then we reversed a lot. And this is confusing for people, okay? So anyways, let's talk about how you can become a professional trader and how you can become successful. So how do you make it happen? And why do people find trading success so elusive? You know, everyone's always chasing the dollar. You know, trading is not gambling. It is not a 50-50 crapshoot. You're going after something and you should have a reason that you're taking the trade. For me, the reason is the gap. And again, we're gonna talk about that in a little bit, but you can't just say, I think we're higher and I think we're lower. You either have 100% conviction that we're higher or you have 100% conviction that we're lower. You can have conviction in, in two different things, okay? <laughs> and again, I see people signing in late you can ask me questions in the room if you have questions as we go along, and I will see them. So again, this is a chart of the SPY, okay? The SPY is an ETF for the S&P. We do trade the SPY, okay? I will do options in the SPY. I will do day trades in the SPY. 
And again, the SPY was down this morning with the overall market, but you need a strategy. Mine is gaps. Now, let's talk about what is a gap. <laughs> again, this is a daily chart. I'm going back here uh, to like the end of July. Now, here was a day, this was a really good day, the market fell too. We closed here and gapped down. So what is a gap? A gap is a difference between the close and the open. Here's four o'clock, here's 9.30 the next morning. So we closed here at four o'clock, opened down, fell. See that? What you would have done on the seventh is you would have shorted the market if you wanted to make money. Or you could have done a put, which is an option that's a short, okay? What happened there, we had momentum to the downside. If you had gone long, you would have lost, okay? Red bars mean selling, to pick selling. Again, this is a daily chart. So today's markets, and again, today's such a great day to talk about this. Some people will think they can short everything in this market right now in 2022. That's not true. It's not true at all. In fact, if you shorted today, guess what? You lost money because we flipped. Some people will think it's time to go long soon. Why? Because we're down so much. Again, people went long today. While they might be up, it's really too soon to call. All a person can do is get up every single morning and take it day by day and look at the gap and rate the gap. Again, we're gonna discuss more about what a gap is in a minute, but if the gap rate's good, you do it. If it doesn't rate good, you don't do it. You have to take it day by day. Again, I'm an active trader. I chunk it out. You chunk it. You take the trade, you chunk it, get out. It's not long-term trading, okay? Long-term trading right now actually has been very difficult for people because they're going long in the dips, thinking they're getting a great price, and then the market continues to fall. 2021 was much different, okay? But the one point I wanna make is, the one thing I do know is that gap trading is very powerful. And in my opinion, it's the only way to make money in the market consistently in any type of market environment. What do I mean? I mean bullish or bearish. Gaps are so powerful. Today is a great example of that, people, because so many things gap down today and big. And many people do not know how to trade gaps or they do them wrong, okay? And that's why what I know about gaps is so special. And for as long as the market exists, from now until the end of time, gap trading will always be very powerful the gaps that are made with institutional money are the gaps you want to focus on are the gaps you want to trade. When you get a big move, you can take a small position, a medium position, a large position, and make a lot of money. This is not scalping. This is momentum trading. And for as long as the market exists, people will not understand how to trade gaps or the importance of gaps and how important they are. And actually, today's gap was an important gap for the market too. Okay? So having a strategy, for me it's gaps, but having a strategy, anything, to focus on daily is very important. You can't have any distractions. Now, if you're somebody who likes to have CNBC on in the background of the news, that's fine, okay? But the reality is, again, you should be looking at the chart and making decisions on the price action based on what you see in that. Because everything else is your opinion. Just like when I go on TV, I could be on TV with somebody that has a completely opposite opinion of me. Who's, to say, who's, who's right, me or the other person? Well, it's whoever predicts what's going to happen before the outcome occurs, okay? So you wanna hit a bullseye every single day, that's all you need, and this is my goal. Just hit it one side of the game, boom, done. It's not about trading all day from 9.30 to four. In fact, your odds go down of making money as the market goes on longer into the day. Again, this is such a crazy market today that if you said, Melissa, where are we going to close today at 4 o'clock? I have no idea. Okay, I have no idea. This market from where it opened today, from where it's trading right now, and again, it's only 12.15 or thereabout. We're not even open for three hours yet. Again, this is something that you look at and you have to look at and you say, I have 100% conviction or I don't. And what I'm talking about is the gap. So let's take a look at what a gap is again. This is a chart of the QQQs. We just looked at the SPY. And again, I have this through the 10th. Okay, so this was a couple of days ago. This was Friday, this was Monday. Now, again, what is a gap? This is the QQQs. A gap is a difference between the close and the open. So the market closed here at four o'clock and opened down here at 9.30, fell. Okay, 
Now, I also, this is a bearish gap. I also wanna show you what a bullish gap is. It's when the market closes at four and opens at a higher price at 9.30. This is a bullish gap. See it? So this is a bullish gap, this is a bearish gap, okay? And again, here was the market. Remember June 16th, 17th, people thought that was the low of the market for the year. They bought the rally. And again, you know, we were all the way down here this morning. You can't see it because I don't have this morning on here. But that's where we were this morning. And then we lifted. So again, what is a gap? A stock gap to so the opening price today is different than the closing price of yesterday's trading. A gap is a break in price action from one day to the next. Simple. But you have to know how to play the gap. You have to know what are the good gaps. Okay? You have to know which ones to do. You cannot short every bearish gap. You cannot go long every bearish gap for a gap fill. You cannot short every bullish gap, and you cannot go long every bullish gap either. If it was that easy, no one would ever lose any money trading. It's like you say, well, I want to go long on support. Well, there's a bazillion supports. You say, well, I want to go long on the 20-period moving average. That's not going to work consistently either. And this is the mistake that traders make. They want to just put something in such a strict box that they are honing into it and looking at it and they don't realize that there's so many other criteria and so many other things to look at so i created a system it's called the golden gap it is a 26 point system i look at 26 things in a daily chart to determine if i want to trade the gap and what's the best gap and not only that what direction to play it it may sound like a lot of things but actually if you could do only one trade a day and make money that's your goal it's not about trading six and a half hours a day it's just not and that, again, is where people make the mistake. They just don't understand that it is so important to be right on the money, okay? This isn't about the fact that you're never going to lose. Obviously, some trades I lose, some trades you're going to lose, some trades anybody loses. The idea is to lower your losses and increase your wins. So you want to have a high win ratio. You want to have more wins than losses. And in order to do that, you have to gear it to a strict criteria of a set of criteria of things that you're looking for and that if you don't get them, you don't trade, okay? <laughs> and again, any questions, you can plop them in the chat and I, and I will see them. Anyways, let's talk about institutional money. What is institutional money? Institutional money is big money that comes in to a stock or the market and moves it. It could be buying or it could be selling, okay? It's anything that moves something with a big amount of money. Institutional money is hedge funds, big, big professional traders, okay? So again, you're looking for large moves, big moves. That's what you want. And again, it's momentum, momentum trading. So let's take a look here at CBX. This was a bullish chart. This was a bullish move. So this, again, what happened here? This is Chevron. This is a daily chart. We've been playing this a lot this year. Let's take it back. July, stock close here, gapped up, rallied, closed here around 150, gapped up here at around 155, took off like a rocket, ran up to almost 165. This was a long, you could have gone long here. This was institutional money buying CVX. Did it on a gap up. See that? What about this over here? Closed here, gapped up. This closed here, you know, roughly under 145, gapped up here, right under 150, rallied got bought. So institutions were buying the stock. This is again, CVX. So this is a bullish chart. I don't know what this is doing today, but it doesn't matter. I still know this chart is bullish. Okay. Let's look at a bearish chart. Again, what happens when something falls? Selling, or you also get shorts. So one of the reasons I prefer to short is I get the selling and I get the shorts. So this is Adobe, stock close here, gap down, closed up here around 370, opened down here around 320, fell, boom, fell off a cliff. We shorted this. We did a short, we did a day trade, and we did a put. See it? Again, institutional money sold this stock. Boom, they dumped it. Okay? Again, this is a large move. This is a big move. That's what you want to make money. So what does it look like? Looks like power, okay? And again, I'm looking at the technicals in the chart. You must have charts to look at data. If you don't have charts and you're not trading with charts and you're trading blind, okay? And, and then that's dangerous. 
in these types of markets. So the bottom line is that institutional money is always in charge. It's in charge of the market and stocks all the time, all the time. So don't make trading hard. Trade with the power, not against it. Again, traders want to do things that are very tricky and they think, well, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to just reverse it. No. If you go with what's happening, it's going to make it so much easier for you to make money. Do you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like you can't go against the grain. Do you know what I mean? Of what's actually going on. So, learn to spot institutional money and trade with it, not against it. It's going to be hard for you to make money if you're against it. Make your trading life easier so you can make money on a regular basis. You have to make money on a regular basis if you want to day trade for a career. I'm following the moves that institutional money makes in the market, and then I'm capturing those moves in a small time frame daily. So I'm looking at the daily to make the trading decisions, but I'm trading on the one minute, which we're going to talk about here in a little bit. But a big flow of money going in a certain direction is what moves the market stocks and creates momentum and sets the trend in charts. Very important. When you're looking for institutional money, you're really reading the side of power in a stock. You want to be on the side of the power in order for you to make money trading. Institutional money is in charge of the market and stocks at all times. And, and, and again, even if you think that it's not there, it actually is. Okay. So you've got to understand and become a specialist. You know, you become an expert. You become an expert chart reader. You become an expert in technical analysis. And what does this mean? It means reading price action in charts. Comprehending how to redefine and trade with this power will have a huge positive impact on your profitability as a trader. Elevate yourself, your trading, and your profits to a higher level of the consistency and success by learning how to read the footprints of institutions trading in the market. So again, this is a chart of what? BA. If I go back, I go all the way back. This is 2020 into 2021. Then we are over, this is the beginning of 2021. See, BA rallied up here to like 280. Going back like, two years from this is the COVID lows remember people bought BA this is BA now so this was a couple of days ago it's around 130 so you say look how could we go from this to this we were never going long BA we were shorting it we were shorting it all along the way so I was reading the gaps in BA to predict the stock was lower and we were doing shorts in this. We were doing day trades, we were doing puts. But when you look at something like this, you're like, oh my God, it's higher, let's go long, do. And then it fails and, it, and then everyone says, why? Because they weren't looking at the right thing. So again, gaps are very powerful. That's what I started saying at the beginning of the conversation. You can't just go along something on a moving average. You have to follow the footprints of big position players before the momentum occurs. So you can take the position in the right direction so that you can profit. And then you get out when the move happens for the profit. But you have to understand how to trade with this side of power. The market's a good example. I had called puts in the market. And when the market gap down today, everybody was up. So we were already short the market. And then we had the gap down today. Okay. But you've got to see where this power is. And again, the point I was trying to make earlier where people say, well, I want to do this, but I'm not doing well and I don't know what to do. You can make money trading. It, the market has the ability to pay you. Moves like you're seeing in the market today have the ability to pay you. It's that people just don't know what side to trade it on and they don't know what to follow and focus on. You can win big trading on the side of power and it's very important. Institutional money is always in charge. It's in charge of stocks in the market at all times. So for me, it's one focus and one focus only, it's gaps. And I do prefer to short. We do go long, we went long CVX, but I prefer, okay, to short. So it's one of these things where again, <laughs> you know, it's been a good market, 2022 to short. Now we're getting into earnings season, which begins tomorrow. We got the banks reporting tomorrow and a lot of other things too next couple of weeks most stocks gap on earnings 
Again, you don't know where they're going to gap, okay? You don't know, but you wait and see the gap, and then we rate it once we see it. So this was the market in the QQQs. This was a trade I called, I'm gonna show you here an option, on August 22nd. So this was a put. We did the 310 QQQs that expired 92. So let's go take it back. 22nd, here. You take it over. That's where we were. So I called the three tens. The cost was $4, number of contracts was 20, risk was $8,000, sold at 11, profit was $14,000, return on investment 175%. This is a great trade, people, okay? Again, in order to make money in the market, you have to have some trades with really big winners. You can't be scalping. You'll make pennies and then lose when you lose and you'll never be, you'll never be right. You have to win in more trades than you lose, and you need some big winners. If you had a beginner risk of three contracts with a $1,200 risk, you could have made $2,100 or 175% return on investment. Again, this is a solid trade. When I take an option, I'm looking at the weeklies. Again, this is the momentum. What was the momentum? The momentum was to the downside, and we captured that, and we captured that in a gap, okay? So you can day trade gaps you can do options in gaps here was another one we did this was Navinia. we did the 165 puts thursday the 25th let's go back and look at the 25th here see it so this we closed here gap down called the train go look at it in a minute reverse the trade was down then it fell off a cliff here, I call this at 7.50 in the morning. You don't do the trade till after the open. Cost was $3, number of contracts was 25, risk was $7,500, sold at 13, profit 25,000, this is a 333% return investment. Again, people always say, is this the best exit? No, I don't always get the best exit. There's many times that trades continue. But in this case here, this was down before it was up. So in an ideal world, something will go within 24, 48 hours that I do as a trade and as an option. The nice things about options are that you have the protection because you can't lose more than your risk in an option. Very different from a swing trade. If you had a beginner risk, four contracts, again, this is a sizable amount of profit to make $4,000 with a $1,200 risk. This is how you can take a small account and grow it into a large account. And I think that people like options specifically for that. You get the move in the momentum, in the momentum. Again, the opportunity always is about spotting the power money. It's power money, power money, institutional money. That's how you're gonna get these big moves, all right? And again, any questions, plop them in the room. So my strategy is based on gaps or a term I coined called golden gaps because I feel like it's like finding gold in the market when I find a gap that meets my criteria. So what are my criteria? This is what I teach in a class. It's a two day class. It's all day Saturday and all day Sunday that I teach in the class is next weekend. It is a paid class where I go through 26 points in a chart and I teach you how to rate the gap. I also teach you how to enter the stock and I teach you how to exit it. Now I run a live trading room where I call the trades live. The options newsletter is an email subscription service, but either way, whether you're doing the day trades or the options, it's all about the gap for me. I'm reading the gap in the morning using the checklist. So I'm choosing and picking the ones that I want to do, okay? When you look at something and you're saying, oh, that's a 50-50, don't take that train. You cannot have a 50-50 mindset. You have to say to yourself 100%. Again, you have to still set your risk, but you have to believe that the trade's gonna work. So again, there's only one thing and one thing only that moves the direction of a stock. It's money, it's power money, and not a little bit, it's a lot. Power money is in charge. Power money is in charge of the stock's direction all the time. Trends are set and move by the power money people. You've seen that this year in 2022, of which there is a lot of in the market. Um, someone, hold on, let me ask a question. Don't premiums explode before you can open trade in the gap? 
if you're talking about doing a trade that I'll call at 8 a.m., you don't take the trade until after the open, you don't have to take it right at 9.30. The idea is to get in the first 5, 10, 15 minutes of the trade. If a trade's going to go, you're not in and out in five minutes in an option, if that's what you're asking me. So if you wait for it to wiggle and jiggle and settle down, that's fine. We're not trading options in and out in five minutes. You're trying to get a move. That move could last all day. That move could last several days. Does that make sense? Now, in day trades, we are in and out quick. But day trades, we're doing a margin. We'll talk about that in a little bit. So gaps happen in the market on a regular basis. However, some gaps are better than others. And some, sometimes we don't do anything. If it's something doesn't meet my criteria that day, we won't trade. Some gaps are nothing gaps, and some gaps are very powerful displays of institutional money. The most important gaps, though, in the market are gaps that signify a change in direction or a bigger move in the same direction. Understanding which gaps are meaningful and which gaps are not meaningful in the market will help you denote what to do and when a change is occurring. So that's how you know when the power of money is going to go. It has the ability to pay you. But again, I must stress, you cannot take every gap in the direction of the gap, and you cannot take every gap in the opposite direction of the gap. If it was that easy to read gaps or train gaps, no one would ever lose. So just think about it. Think about it intellectually. You know, I mean, it makes a lot of sense when you think about it. Because if you're going with power money, that's who's controlling stocks, that's who's controlling the market, you're going to win more than you ever lose. And you're going to win big. If you're against it, you're destined to lose. Sometimes you might win, but you're pretty much destined to lose. Because overall, it's not going to work out. Does that make sense? So let's look at this. This is back, remember June. So we have the June 16th lows, which everyone says, it's going to be the low for the year. Everyone said it, do. I never thought that. Now, while it could have been, it could have been, it might have been, it could have been, it wasn't, we already broke it, I didn't go long here. We rallied for six weeks and I never went long, the market. So again, I never thought the bulls were in control. Yet, they showed their hand then and it showed that the bears were in control because we lost it and broke everything and fell off a cliff. Again, this morning we opened at 255. I don't know where we are now, but we're nowhere near the high of the rally we were in August. Look, this is like 330-ish. And that seems like a million years ago from now. It will today, no matter where we close. So again, you have to look at the gap. You have to rate it. It pinpoints the, my rating system pinpoints the direction of power of money by reading the price. You gotta have a chart. You gotta have live data. You have to have the chart up. You can't trade blind. It always amazes me how people really trade blind. Sometimes they'll trade based on fundamentals. I mean, that's like, as, that's the same as getting someone's opinion. You know, I could be on TV and I have somebody with a different opinion than me. I say, I think this is gonna happen. The other person says, I think that's gonna happen. Who's right? The one that predicts it before it happens. You have to look at the price. That's something we can all agree on. If we say, oh, this is tr NVIDIA's trading right at this number today, right now at 1232. That's not up for debate. It's not conjecture, it's not opinion, it's fact. If you've got electronic data, unless you have some kind of delay, we all see the same thing, okay? So getting back to what I was saying though about conviction, you need conviction to make money. You have to have it and then having a system gives you the conviction and then you have to believe in it and you take the trade and put the risk on. But if you wanna trade effectively, you cannot go with a crowd of day traders. There's far too many people that are trading far too many people that are trading that lose that don't know how to trade and they don't know what they're doing and the reality is that that will always be the case so if you want to do well you can't go with most day traders because most day traders really don't know what they're doing it's like you know you can't go with the crowd you have to be different you have to have an edge and again for me, my edge is not just shorting, my edge is also gaps. Now, this was a nice gap we did, it's the middle of September, it's like a month ago now. Remember, FDX came out, the CEO came out, he said, do, 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 we're all gonna go into a worldwide recession. This stock closed here the night before, up here around 200 and change and opened down here around 160 and change. It was a terrible gap down, the market fell too. 
we were already short. So on the 7th, I called the 195 puts. I did not know the CEO would say that. We were ready in the trade. It expired on the 16th. Cost was $3, 25 contracts. Risk was 7,500 for an advanced trader risk. You could have made 1,033% in this trade. People, people did. This was the biggest trade of the month of September. This was an option. It went more than $35 to the strike. I'll go back and show you the chart in a minute. Again, $77,500 on a risk of 7,500. If you took four, risk 1,200, again, this made everybody's month. This is the type of trade that can actually get you a whole trading account because it takes a $5,000 account and blows it up into a huge account. So we were in this trade here. See it? So we did the trade, then it reversed. So you put the trade on, you take the risk, whatever you wanna risk, do one contract if you want to. You could have risked 300 bucks. Some people did two contracts. It reversed, you were down, and then it went poop. So this ended up opening again, and then dropped down in here. That again goes back to show you the power of the gap. The power of the gap to be able to pay you, to make money, to go with what's happening with the institutional money. And again, it's, it's all about opportunity. Opportunity sets up daily in gaps. That's what you need to trade for a living. That's what you need to make money. Now, again, I drew this. This is a pie chart. The whole blue area is the prep time that you spend in the morning getting ready to trade. Very little time trading. This is all the prep. I get up early in the morning. I rate my gaps. I do the analyzing. I look at the market. I see what's happening. Then I'm in and out of the trade fairly quickly. Okay. So the, the time that you're spending actually in the trade should not be as much as the time you're spending making the trading decision. Usually for most day traders, it is the opposite. They do spend very little time deciding what to do, and they spend a lot of time trading. I don't trade all day long. I'm in and out of day trades quick in the morning, the first half hour of the day, and if I put an option on, I put it on and I let it ride. It either wins or loses, okay? The time I spend figuring it out, that's the bulk of my time. And that's what helps me hit the bullseye. Now let's talk about day trades. These are trades on margin. Here we are, the seven. So we had the market closed here, gap down, fell. We shorted it. We shorted the QQQs as a trade on margin. If you have a retail account, you have four to one margin. If you have a prop account, you have 10 to one margin. What did we do? Entry was 274.20, boom. Risk was 2,800. Sold at 272.90, profit $2,600. This went way more than this too. I'm gonna show you in a minute. This was again, October 7th. Here's the one minute. Again, I analyze it on the daily and I train on the one. Stock close here, gap down, drop, short it. We got in, got the drop, out, done. I'm showing you here, this continued down. It actually went all the way down. This broke 270, 269, 268. See it? I think it was a Friday. Yeah, that was last Friday, actually. Oh my God, that was only last Friday. Yeah. It was Friday a week ago tomorrow. So again, when you're looking at something, you hit it. So I prepped in the morning, analyzed the gap, braided the gap, then it opened, boom, and then we're in it. And we're in and out. And again, whether or not this continues all day, it doesn't matter to me. My job is to hit the bullseye. My job is to turn it over. If I'm risking 2,800, I make 2,600. That's it. My job is done. Flip it over one. 50% is even good. Again, this is a day trade on margin. I'm calling the trades live in the room and the entries and the stops. And I do use stops. Now, if you had a beginner risk, say you had a thousand shares, you could have risked 1,400, made 1,300. That's a good trade. You're in and out a couple of minutes, you're done. Boom. We also did on the 5th. So here was this day. We shorted this tail. We made money and got out before it flipped. Closed here, gap down, fell. Entry was 279.05. Shares was 2,500. Risk was 31.25. Exit 277. So again, two bucks. We're looking for a dollar or more. Two dollars or more. That's good enough. Okay, 
So 5,125 was the profit on this trade. If you took a beginner risk, you could have made 2,050. Again, here is the daily closed here, gap down, fell. We shorted the tail, got out. It was a perfect exit. And let's show you on the one. Here it is. So this closed here, gap down, rallied. We're on 10.5. Okay, we're on a one minute now. So before there was a daily, this is the one minute. Shorted it, got the drop. Boom, drop, out, done. Actually, this one all the way down. Again, you could have made more in this. This went all the way down to 275.50. I did not hold it to there. I got out up in here. I usually try to get out by 10 o'clock, 10 a.m., 10 a.m. Eastern time. Now, these are all the results for the day trade room for 2022. You always say, what are your stats? What are your results? $536,117 for the year. This is with an average risk of $2,800 per trade. So again, what is my win ratio? These are the day trades, not the options. I actually didn't put the options results in here, but both my options and my day trades win ratio is between 75 and 80% year to date. So again, your risk per trade is up to you, which should be based on the size of your cash account. You can ask me what I think about that. But again, it depends if you want to do options or day trades or both. I think if you have a full-time job, you can do options on the side that you don't have to pay attention every second to the options. You could put in a sell order. If it hits your target, you're out, okay? When we day trade, we day trade between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Eastern time, and you do have to be in the room to get the trades calls, and you do have to be there live. But if you want to consistently make a lot of money in the market, the only way that's going to happen is if you have a high winning strategy, good money management, you should risk the same in every trade, and a good mentor to follow, which again, the live room that I run is the live mentorship for people. But it really, for me, the time of the day is so key to what you're doing. You can do this from home, you can trade anywhere in the world, but you've got to remember it is about chunking it out. And again, you've got to get the momentum. If you get the momentum, then you do it. Then you get the move, you get out. If you don't have conviction in what you're doing, then you probably don't have a good strategy or you're not making money doing it. And that's problematic because you have to have 100% conviction if you want to do this and if you want to do well. So any questions here, as I was saying, I teach people how to empower themselves to trade themselves in a class. The class is called the Golden Gap Course. It teaches a 26 point rating system to find the best stock to trade every single day. The course teaches you how to enter and exit the stock of the day. It teaches technical analysis on a very advanced level, but I'm teaching the entries. I'm teaching the exits and the targets. It's a two day course, a full two day course on how to strategically find, pick and place stocks at our professional bearish gaps. Class is online, the class is next weekend. There's only three more classes for this year. One in October, one in November, one in December. If you want to sign up and trade now, earnings season begins tomorrow. I'm running a webinar special, earnings season special, because it starts tomorrow through Sunday, October 16th. If you sign up for the class, that's next weekend. By Sunday, you'll receive the Socks with Show Live trading room free for one year. The class tuition is $69.99. Everyone pays the same. The class is October 22nd and 23rd, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. If you're interested, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Again, if you have questions, you can email me, you can call me. There's some testimonials from people. Shelly specifically, I put her testimony in here. She did that FDX trade. She had um, two, I think she, yeah, she had two puts and she made over almost $12,000. She made 11,950. That's, that's just a huge amount of money for such a small position. But again, it has to do with following the institutional money, the gap, the power of the gap and momentum. I think I made it with the time. Any questions from anyone? Again, if you're interested in the class, email me at melissathestockswish.com. Any questions here at the very last minute? I will look at what the market's doing. Probably going to wait till 4 o'clock. We're past the halfway point for the day in the market. <laughs> to say it was a wild day is an understatement. We've had a lot of wild days this year in the market. I think it's gonna carry through this volatility into 2023. But again, if you know how to trade it, it makes great, great, great possibilities for you to make to, you know, a lot of money in a small position, or again, a lot of money in a large position. 
but it is very important to get the direction of riding your train. Not just this year, but all the time. All right, thanks so much, everyone. I hope everyone could hear me. <laughs> I'm gonna take the slide off. Thank you.